I'm going to talk with the other member of the Jenkins Lee Band, jazz saxophonist Amy Lee. Amy is another incredible musician. She's been on the international, national music scene since 1990. Now, like Woody, she also has some ties to Buffett. She was his saxophonist and co-writer for so many years. Amy has a style and a sound that is just unlike any other. So you put her and Woody together and you get a dynamic, dynamic duo. Amy, thank you for being here well, today. Well, thank you for the compliments, <laughs> and thank you for having me. Well, it's great having you back on the show. It's been a while since we've talked, Amy, and I'm curious to know how long ago you and Woody played together for the first time. It was about two years ago, or three years ago. I mm -hmm. played with him down here with Hugo Duarte and the Full Sail Band at Hog's Breath during Meeting of the Minds. I think it was in 2010, mm -hmm. and um, he just blew me away. And then I found out he only lived two hours away from me. I lived in Atlanta, and he was out just over the border in North Carolina from Georgia. Mm -hmm. So I started going up and playing with him two years ago up at the casino there and some small clubs. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you we guys decided, decided to, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, Pack form up the band. a truck and mm -hmm. move down to Key West and try it, form a band and try it down here. Okay, so you made the move down yeah. here because of, because of the band. Because of the band, because mm -hmm. of the club scene mm -hmm. here. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot happening here being a tourist town, of course. So. Absolutely. Well, you two, I think, are just a, a good pair with each other. So tell me about your, your music style. It's interesting. I come from a um, jazz background, mm -hmm. and I primarily studied jazz. But then I worked with Jimmy Buffett for 15 years, so I got out of the jazz scene and doing the um, uh, lounge kind of jazz trio things and toured with him for so long that I got out of it. Now I'm getting slightly back into it, but I'm still doing like rock and roll and whatever I can, mm -hmm. you know, and to stay busy. Okay, and Woody mentioned that you guys are staying really busy. You've got yes, some steady gigs right now, which is exciting. Yes, I'm very happy about this because it's taken a while for it to pick up, mm -hmm. and now it has finally picked up. Mm -hmm. So we're booked almost all the way through June already, and this month has been booked quite steadily. This coming week we have, I think, gigs on every day except Wednesday. Great. So I'm very happy about mm -hmm. that. And you guys can be heard at the Little Jazz Room. Right, yeah. it's technically called the Little Room Jazz Club. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's at 821 Duval Street. Mm -hmm. And then regularly on um, Sundays at the 90 Mile Lounge on 300 Front Street. Okay, so yeah. hopefully everybody can get out to those locations yeah, and check that you would out. Yeah, be great. Now, Amy, have you ever taken a break from music or is it something that you've, you've done constantly? I've been in the music business constantly, but I did take a break from playing for about two or three years after I graduated from music school. Mm -hmm. Got burnt out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just put it away for a while and concentrated on the music business side of the business. Mm -hmm. And I worked for the Atlanta Symphony Marketing and PR Department. Mm -hmm. So, and then I gradually started playing realized I was just so unhappy and it, I realized it was because I wasn't playing for a living. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I quit my day job and forced myself into playing and it was a struggle at first, but every year it got better. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And fortunately for us, you're, you're playing down here. Right, thank you very much. <laughs> so yes, we can I'm hear very you. happy about that. Now do you think that being on stage today, Amy, do you still get the same excitement that you did? 15 years ago, 20 Abs years ago. Absolutely, mm -hmm. because I'm excited to play for people, new and regular people, because every time we play, we may play the same songs, but we have solos in them, so we are improvisers, so if you come and hear us, you'll hear something new every time you hear us. Mm -hmm. and. 
that is great fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, good. I, I'm. It. I always wonder, you know, with people if they get burnt out a little bit as they as they move on in their career, if they can still keep that same excitement and, yeah, and passion. Yeah. Yeah. And interestingly enough, I did not get nervous when I was on the big stage in front of twenty thousand plus people. Mm -hmm. It was like just wallpaper you know, the mass of people, you didn't, couldn't feel them really because they're not right up at you like mm -hmm. a small club. Mm -hmm. So I get more nervous in a small club than I did on the big stage. Really? Yeah. And there's less people in a small club, but well, but, but like you really said. really listening, uh -huh. so, mm -hmm. yeah. It's more intimate. In intimate, small... yeah, mm -hmm. it's great. Well, great. Well, Amy, I'm excited to hear you. I have to come out to Motown Nights on oh, Monday night. Oh, I love night. it. <laughs> I would love you to. And I'll definitely stop by at other times throughout the week. And as you mentioned, the Little Jazz Room, you'll be right. there this weekend. Right. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, mm -hmm. Jenkins Lee will be. And then Motown Mondays with Soul City, we are in this other band that we formed mm -hmm. with my husband and Woody's ex-wife, actually, <laughs> the Key West Queen of Soul, so mm -hmm. Deb Hudson. Great. Well, another good combination with yeah, all, all four great. of you. Amy, yeah. thanks for being back on the show today. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Always. I'm, I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.